It's Rap Bike Super Mini's time here at Three Sisters, and it'll be another opportunity for Jack Bednarek to get it right. He's on the pole position alongside Jake Smith, then Louis Smith and Lawrence Wardle on the second row from Andrea Todea and Brandon Keane, then Jamie Callan and Mark Evans from Nathan Gardner and Jake Whitaker, Lee Thompson and James Sidebottom on the sixth row from Howard Taylor, David Vale, George Musket, Joe Dickinson, Phil Dickens, and Calvin Kelly. 18 riders gearing up for the start after the problems in the previous race for Jack Bednarek. He's going to be hoping that this time all is well, fine and dandy. But there's going to be just as much pressure from Jake Smith as he had from Michael Med in the pit bikes. Off we go. And it's a cracking start from Jake Smith. I tell you what, Jack Bednarek has got no luck at all off the line from pole position. But at least this time, he looks as if he's got a bike to at least bring him back into play as Andrea Tadea made a terrific start to get in the third position. And around the outside, Jake Smith and Jack Bednarek are having a terrific duel. But Tadea made a terrific launch. He's in third position, trying to get through, and he's there. Into second place, so Bednarek is your leader. Tadea is now second, and into third is Jake Smith. But what a superb getaway from Andrea Tadea, who started in fifth position originally, worked his way to fourth at the first timing line. Now he's third, now he's second, and pushing on to Jack Bednarek. So Bednarek is back at the lead. Here comes Tadea. They're going to be three wide, and they've both managed to get past Bednarek without any issue at all. Smith takes on Tadea and gets into the lead. And now Bednarek's got even more problems because he's got several more members of the field trying to take him on. And that is Andrea Tadea back into the lead. So incredibly, we've had four lead changes in the space of about 200 meters. So now they are almost three wide again. Further back, they absolutely are. That's the treble three of Brandon Keane now getting into the mix of the fight for the lead. Where did Brandon Keane come from? He's charged his way through into the fight. And now he's suddenly split to Aaron Smith. And they are absolutely monstering it. Smith gets back through on the inside. Come on, Brandon, give us a chance. I haven't even got past Andrea today yet. So they work their way through the S's. But Brandon Keane very much is keen as mustard at the moment. Jack Bednarek, by the way, is having yet another hogwash of a race. Wardle and Smith have got through. So Lawrence Wardle and Louis Smith have managed to pass him. So Jack Bednarek is going backwards down the field once again. So uh, he's dropping through the field like a rock through newspaper. And now get that from Brandon Keane. As Smith takes on today, uh, Keane gets past both of them. Absolutely terrific. And is that today a back in a second? It is indeed. So Brandon Keane has got the moves. Is this going to be the run back from Jake Smith? No, he has to concede from Andrea today. But if you're Brandon Keane, you want to settle into the move, into the rhythm now and just disappear out front. Lawrence Wardle is fourth from Louis Smith. Now it's Joe Dickinson in sixth, ahead of Bednarek. And then Whitaker, Thompson, Gardner, Evans, side bottom, Fail, Taylor, and George Muscat. But Brandon Keane has charged his way through. He was sixth position on the grid for this one. So to fight his corner, knit his way through, and now take the lead. A pretty impressive run from Brandon Keane. And if he keeps this confidence sky high for the rest of the race, he's just going to disappear. Nobody's going to have seen which way he went. So here comes Jake Smith back again for more on Andrea Todea. So Andre Todea trying to outfox his opponent, but no, Jake Smith is going to get there in front. And he gets into second place once more. They need to stop squabbling amongst themselves, really, because Brandon Keane is disappearing up front. They're going to cost themselves time and uh, energy battling amongst themselves. Now, the battle for fourth is even tighter because Lawrence Wardle is in front of Louis Smith. Joe Dickinson is there in P6. And where is Jack Bednarek? Well, he's still there in seventh for the moment, but he's got the pressure of Jake Whitaker charging forward. Is that Wardle still just about hanging on in there from Dickinson and Smith, or has there been a change of position? There has, but it's Joe Dickinson in front of Louis Smith, and now going for four on the inside of Lawrence Wardle. Can Wardle get him back on the exit? He's certainly having a think about it. No, it's well handled by Joe Dickinson, who now finds himself in fourth position. So Joe Dickinson up to B4. Fifth place for Wardle. Sixth is Smith, seventh is Bednarek. Then it is the 121 of Jake Whitaker, ahead of Nathan Gardner and Lee Thompson. There is David Fail. We just saw him the outskirts of the top 10. What has happened to Jack Bednarek today? Neither in pit bikes nor in super minis has he been able to have the bike underneath him to sustain his pole position. Go up Penrith Klein. And that's an opportunity again for Jake Smith. He has managed to catch Brandon Keane. This is terrific work. So Andre Todea has now fallen all the way to, hang on a minute, where is Andre Todea? He was in third, that's Lawrence Wardle who's now in third. No it isn't, it's Joe Dickinson. 
So Tadeo has clearly had a problem somewhere. Dickinson's got through. Wardle hasn't managed to. But Joe Dickinson is the man who finds himself in third place. So Keenan Smith, first and second. Let's look back and see if Joe Dickinson comes into the shot. There he does indeed. So Dickinson is third ahead of Andre Tadeo. There is Tadeo. So something has definitely gone wrong for Andre Tadeo. Didn't see what happened to him, but he's now down in fourth position. And Wardle, Smith, Gardner, Bednarek, Thompson, Whitaker, and Evans all want to get past him. This is an absolute squabble. And even James Sidebottom at the back of the queue is thinking, hang on a minute, if this gets a little bit spicy, I am right in this mix. And here comes Jake Smith, hunting down Brandon Keane again for the lead. Through Dunlop. Back up the school straight, the main straight on this particular course. Into the first corner. Oh, Jake Smith really hunting down Brandon Keane. You're not going to get that overtaking move to work. Up to the hairpin at the valley. Surely not with that kind of protective start to Brandon Keane, but on the switcheroo. Is this going to be the move for the lead? It is indeed. Jake Smith gets back into the lead once more. So we've had Bednarek leading from the pole. We've had Tadea, we've had Smith, we've had Keane. And now it is Jake Smith once again. There's Joe Dickinson running a very stable third place. But Louis Smith has now got past Lawrence Wardle. And the 254 of Nathan Gardner has crept forward in front of Andre Todea, who has actually slipped all the way behind Jack Bednarek. So after today's brilliant start, he has really struggled to keep the, whether it's the tyre temperatures, whether it's the grip and the throttle, whether it's just the confidence in the greasy conditions, whatever it is, it's uh, not Andre Todea's race after all. And we thought for a moment that it might be. Oh, and off goes the leader! Jake Smith in the final bend! Brandon Keane able to continue. Jake Smith disappears from the lead. So easy to do. And Jake Smith has gone. And he is in absolute agony, not in pain, but in despair. Oh, poor Jake Smith. He had done so much hard work to get into the lead. But Jake Smith appears to be out. Now they are standing waiting with the red flag. And clearly Jake Smith will want them to wave it because if they stop the race and declare it and take it back a lap, he'll be the leader. But I don't think that's what's going to play out because he's OK. So the race will continue. Brandon Keane is the leader then from Joe Dickinson and Louis Smith then Lawrence Wardle, Nathan Gardner and Lee Thompson ahead of Jack Bednarek, Jake Whitaker, Andre Todea and Mark Evans. And I'm sorry to say that Jake Smith will now join Howard Taylor on the sidelines as a retirement. Andre today is really struggling. He's now fallen into the clutches of uh, Evans and Sidebottom. On the top of the crest. There's a stationary yellow. Yeah, it's not going to be stopped. So they've just got to be careful. No overtaking, of course. No overtaking. There is Joe Dickinson in second place. This is now the battle for third. They come off the turn. And Lawrence Wardle senses that the podium is on. But then so too does Gardner. So too does Thompson. So there is definitely going to be a bit of a shuffle of the deck again. Here comes Lawrence Wardle at the inside of Smith. And at the same time, Thompson goes for Gardner. And Thompson gets through. So they come up over the top of the crest of the rise of the valley. Through the left. Through the right. And through the left again. Watch for Louis Smith. He seems like he's got Lawrence Wardle against the ropes here. But Brandon Keane has been absolutely superb in this particular race. Sadly for Andrew today, it's all drifted away from him and James Sidebottom is now trying to get through. There goes Louis Smith on the inside again of Lawrence Wardle to get into third position and watch for Lee Thompson. He's got a chance. Oh, hello, Jack. Jack Bednarek's back in the fight again. Well, he's had a bit of a topsy-turvy day so far. He went from first to worst earlier on in the previous heat for the pit bikes and vets. And now here he is in the super minis. He's getting back his confidence once more. Come off the turn, Smith, Wardle, Gardner, Bednarek round the outside as they go into the final lap. That's a bit more like it for Jack Bednarek. Now he's into fifth position. He's got time, you know, to go for the podium. And he makes the move into fourth position of the Valley hairpin. So Jack Bednarek, it's almost as if the bike has finally woken up. He's gone for third. How has he done that? He's gone from fifth to fourth to third in consecutive corners. Terrific comeback from Jack Bednarek. I'm afraid it's all too little too late as far as the win is concerned, but what a storm back. As there comes Jake Smith, I do believe, who has got going again. Oh no, sorry, that is George Muscat. Jake Smith did not get going again. This man, however, Brandon Keane, stormed his way through on lap six.
lackadaisical over the line, love it. He gets to celebrate the win in style. He takes the flag. Beautiful from Brandon Keane from B6 to B1. A nice wheelie from Joe Dickinson in second place, but the run to third, you can't afford anything like a wheelie. And it is gonna be Jack Benderek who gets there in third. Excellent fight back. Smith in fourth position in front of Lee Thompson. Lawrence Wardle, Jake Whitaker, Nathan Gardner, Mark Evans, Andre Dudea rounding out the top 10 just by pipping James Sidebottom to the flag. Commiserations to Jake Smith. What a superb ride from Brandon Keane.